Steve, thanks. Obviously a different NCAA tournament than we've ever seen before. All the teams in Indianapolis, including the Syracuse University men's basketball team, but very few fans, less media because of COVID, and that includes the Orange broadcast team. Voice of the Orange, Matt Park, joining us now live. Hey, Matt, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Hey. Hey, Jeff, you bet. Thanks for having me. Um, obviously not new for you guys. You haven't traveled with the team all season, but uh, what's it going to be like calling tonight's game, a first-round NCAA tourna tournament game from Syracuse, not in Indy where they are, at Hinkle Fieldhouse? Well, it's the most exciting time of the year, no matter what, and that has lived up, right? Even in a full day of the tournament so far, we've seen one close finish after another, and there's no reason to think that this Syracuse-San uh, Diego State game won't be a nail-biter right to the finish. And so that's what we're in it for is the stories and the adrenaline that comes at this time of year. We'll just do our best at uh, packaging it from afar. Um, obviously, a lot fewer fans uh, allowed in any of the games. Have you talked to anybody that is out there? I mean, what's it even like in Indy right now? I mean, all the teams are there, but I, I got to imagine it's a way different vibe. Sure. I've traded texts and calls with colleagues that are there, and I spoke with uh, Adrian Autry yesterday mm -hmm. and, and Coach Beheim a couple of hours ago. Uh, we don't really get into the small talk, but mm -hmm. with Red Autry, you know, he said, look, this is my room. I've been stuck here I'm doing mm. my scouting reports and homework and listening to music and staring at these four walls <laughs> so outside of scheduled practice time it has been very uh, strictly regimented I don't think they're doing a lot of mingling or any mm. of that right now especially the players now uh, some of the other folks that are there might be able to get out for some fresh air and, and that type of thing and obviously there are minimal fans uh, it's mm -hmm. different from one venue to another as well. How much do you think it matters to the players? I mean, obviously they've gone most of the season without having any fans in any of the stadiums. Um, do you think it matters to them that there'll be very few people at uh, Hinkle tonight? Yes and no. Mm -hmm. I mean, they signed up to play ball, and that's what they're going to do. When the ball mm -hmm. gets tipped in the air, I think they're, they'll be used to this, that you've got to create your own energy. There's not going to be a huge reaction to what happens. Uh, but it's not going to feel like an NCAA tournament game. Mm -hmm. You're not going to have the band and the cheerleaders yeah. and all of the adrenaline rush that comes from that. And that's why they tend to have to feel like they create it themselves. And they, on the other side, they want to share it with their friends and family. Mm -hmm. They're used to kind of coming back, people that have played in the tournament before and right. seeing their family in the lobby after the game and going over the game and having a bite to eat in a new town <laughs> and, and those types of things. So they're robbed of that uh, for sure. But I think as far as the game itself, those 40 minutes, uh, you won't see much of a difference. Yeah, and, and like you said, I mean, Orange Nation, you know I've traveled with the team for a lot of these tournament games. I mean, Orange Nation shows up, and you love to see, you know, Billy Owens and Sherm Douglas in the crowd and all those those former Orange, too. It's just this going to be different, but I guess they're used to it. Yeah, it's just part of the deal for mm -hmm. this year. I think everybody should be congratulated for, as I say, getting to the start mm -hmm. line in this yeah. thing. And who knows what's going to happen from here. It's been a major undertaking for so many different people involved. It's certainly better than not having games, mm -hmm. but it definitely won't be the same. You know what the protocol is? I mean, are we sure that everybody's a go for tonight? Everybody's tested. We're good uh, from a COVID standpoint for tonight's yes, game? Yes, as far as I know. We yep. would know. I, I'm pretty certain that if there was an outlier, we would hear mm -hmm. about it by now. Uh, just in full disclosure, I, I kind of left it out for Coach Beheim. I said everything, you know, just I left it maybe too yeah. open-ended. I said... Uh, everything good as far as health and all of that and, and he said yes yeah. so I, I don't expect that there'll be any wrinkles there they've done a good job you know with the protocol yeah. football basketball in in mm -hmm. particular this year there's been very little uh actual COVID positives now the ones that have have created uh, some issues here and there sure, sure. but uh for the most part when you think of the number of people involved in log logistics here it's gone pretty well let's talk hoops i got time for one more question for you let's sure. talk hoops tonight what what's SU have to do to win against the aztecs tonight I think a lot of different things. One would be rebound, but both of these teams are undefeated when they out-rebound their opponents. Mm. Uh, Syracuse has to have some production, in my opinion, from somebody other than Buddy Beheim, mm. who has been extraordinary. But San Diego State has a very good defense, and they will look to take him out. They'll run bigger people at him and fresh legs at him all throughout the game. So that means Alan Griffin and Quincy Garrier in particular need to step up. But uh, to win games like this, you need the whole roster. Matt? Thank you so much. Um, you I know people are going to want to tune in and watch the TV, but turn the sound down, turn Matt and Jim <laughs> on, and listen to their call of the game. Matt Park, he's the voice of the Orange. We uh, hope you have a great game, and we hope there's just more than one, too. Thanks for being with us, Matt. Sounds good. Thanks, right. Jeff. Looking forward to it. See you, Matt.